Virgo, what is the word, yo? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Godzam Vira, it is Scorpion Red Terror. I am back at it again one time for the one time for November 2020. Show me the money sprinkled in with a little, hold on, give me the salt bay arm, little salt bay arm, little, bloop, little bloop, bloop. hold on, baby, give you a little. <laughs> Give you a little extra look, little Thanksgiving festivities going on around here. Listen, you guys, this is my fourth time trying to record y'all's video. And I'm going to let you know why. I was channeling this song called A Dance Dance by Fall Out Boy. It's like an old ass song. I have no idea what the lyrics are to the song. I had to go and look up the song for whatever reason I thought that the song was called This Is because y'all know the song go This is uh, 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 This is or at least that's what I think that they're saying but apparently the song is called Dance Dance I and I think the lyrics of the song it's like this dude basically I think this dude likes this girl and like the only thing that he can do is give him uh, is give the girl um like poetry words but like even when he's trying to give her the poetry words he's still trying to find some he's still fucking up somehow like it ain't coming out right i think that's what the song is about and it's like in the video it's like i guess the non-popular crowd versus the popular crowd so like they're at this big dance and like the guys that are actually the band there are um less admirer um, less admired char characters that they're playing that's actually in the audience enjoying the song and it's like they're trying to find someone to dance with and like people are bullying them and fucking with them and stuff like that and like at the end of the whole thing like they got out there and started partying and like really enjoying themselves like I feel like this reading is about beware of the underdog because people be sleeping on the under fucking dog and I, I swear it's like beware of the under dog because those dudes that was like not the popular ones that were kind of the little quirky little awkward guys like they were being, they were crowd surfing. They were out there dancing with the black kids. Like, I'm sorry, I love Fall Out Boy. Like, I, like, I don't know what made me channel them today, but it just made me go back and look at their music and just realize like how much I really fucking love them. Like, I mean, it really shows my age because I'm old as fuck. But anyway, so listen, I just wanted to give y'all that because it had to do like. I had to see that and even if I had to keep recording this video it was meant because beware of the underdog like beware of the underdog people be steadily sleeping on the underdog and another thing don't ever in your life because my daughter's a Virgo and she's extremely smart and intelligent and I always tell her do not ever change who the fuck you are to fit in no goddamn crowd because you're going to be the one that's on TV you're gonna be the one that's successful don't act like because like the people that in the regular norm like in school and these groups and stuff the popular ones are typically the ones that ain't shit and the ones that ain't doing nothing with your life okay i promise you at the end of that video like them dudes was partying they were the life of the party and at the end of the day they were the dudes that ended up being in the van in the band that everyone was coming to see so you are the one that everyone is coming to see, Virgo. Don't never forget who the fuck you are. And make them respect the underdog. That's all I'm saying. Listen, I ain't even getting to my prayer or nothing, but I just had to get that off my chest. I had to let it loose. I had to let it loose. So listen, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me, only thing you need to do is check the description and the about tab on my YouTube page. If these videos resonate and if you want to give a donation, send a love offering, or if you would like to check out my Amazon wish list and donate a deck, majority of what you see right here has all been donated by you.
you know so i appreciate all of the love and the positive giving and we about to see what this is we about to see what this is going on so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of virgo thank you so much for the channel message i think this is the one daniel son this is the one we're gonna get through this message today we're gonna find out how to slay because you already know we ain't playing with no delays we ain't letting nobody get in the way and blocking our blessings in the name of jesus come on let's get it virgo let's get into this I'm so serious. This is not a test. Okay? This is not a test. Oop! Oop! <laughs> I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. Okay. Do y'all want me? Okay, so we just gonna put everything up right. We got we not we not putting anything face down. No secrets this time. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna let it come out as it's rose. Nick, okay. Okay. Listen, Virgo. Virgo was just sitting back chilling and being humble. I, I see y'all vacationing. Like y'all are just living y'all best life. I feel like y'all not bothered. Y'all not worried. I feel y'all I feel like y'all finances are stable. You may be planning a vacation to get out. Especially if you around cold weather. I could definitely see you taking a trip out LA. Taking a trip out Florida. Shit possibly going to Mexico. I'm really getting Mexico right here. I feel like some people want to take a trip out Mexico or something like that. Um, I just feel like you are blessed and unbothered. Blessed and unbothered. Relaxing and enjoying your life. This is to a whole bunch of trap music and shit. I don't. I listen to a lot of eclectic sounds, y'all. Because <laughs> I just heard, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't expect this from you. Yes, I do listen to Fall Out Boy and all type of stuff. Like, yes. Especially, like, in my middle school. Like, that was middle school for me. That was middle school for me, man. That was back when we used to have mixtapes and stuff like that. Child, please. I used to listen to all of that stuff. And I used to love me some Maroon 5. Hold on. What's my favorite um, Maroon 5 song? Um, Tap on my window, knock on my door. I want to make you feel beautiful. I know sometimes you get insecure. I think I'm am I singing this song, right? Doesn't matter who you are. And not on the rains and butterflies, it compromises and moves us along. Yeah. I don't mind spending every day. I don't corner in the pouring rain. Look for the girl with a broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay a while Cause she will be loved Yes, she will be loved I'm sorry, it's like when he hit that Tap on my window, knock on my door I 
Wanna make you feel beautiful. I swear, yo, when that shit came out, I used to be wanting to cry every time. I used to play that song on repeat. Repeat, young. Oh my god, I love that song. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all, let's get into it. I, I feel like there's a reason why I'm singing that song too. I feel like, I feel that, that's why I'm, okay, let's go. We got the Ten of Air alfalfa. So, the Ten of Air is like where you are processing. Is that why you've taken a vacation? Tap on my window, knock on my door. I want to make you feel beautiful. Sometimes you get too insecure. Doesn't matter anymore. I'm serious. Like, that's what I'm... I feel like that's why I started singing this song. I feel like someone is taking a vacation away from whatever type of stress and confusion and the demise of a situation with this alfalfa and this tennis wars right here. I definitely feel like you will come into a realization that... I feel like it's someone that you've really been trying to pursue or to help in some type of way. But this person, I don't think that they want your help or they, they think that they got it all figured out or something. And again, I, I want to say one more time, beware the underdog. Laugh now, cry later. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person with that She Will Be Love song that jumped into my spirit, into my bones. I feel like this person is kind of watching someone and kind of feel sad and feel bad for someone because you see this woman going through something and you may be trying to love her, but she's not looking for your love. The type of love that she's looking for is in all of the wrong places, but at the same time, you can't force her to accept your love. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person comes to you when she's hurt. And I keep saying, doesn't matter anymore. It's not only raining and butterflies, it compromises and moves us along. Yeah. I don't mind spending every day out on a corner in the pouring rain. Look for the girl with the broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay a while. And she will. She will be loved. Tap on my window, knock on my door. I just want to make you feel beautiful. <sighs> with this here, I feel like it's about time to kind of cut out and release. And just leave well enough alone like if this person needs your help needs your reassurance needs your comfort needs your admiration they'll come tap on your window knock on your door you know you just want to make them feel beautiful but i i feel like right now is the time to kind of focus on you i want you to kind of get past this i kind of feel like you do feel hurt because it's like you're trying your best to I feel like there's someone that you love that doesn't love their self. They don't know what self-love is because if they did, they wouldn't be chasing and running around after the enemy. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I feel like the time is up on this to relieve some of the pressure on yourself. Um, you could have been in a rush trying to get someone to understand that you love them. You just want the best for them. Like the type of people that they be running after are not necessarily what's best for them. But listen, this person has to find out on their own. And I really feel like after it's all said and done, this person is going to try to run back to you. Um, but they just better hope that you're still there willing to help and receive them because I feel like this is a very damaged person and I don't know Virgo if I want you to be taking this on so much because I feel it so deep like you want I just want to make you feel beautiful but you can't like if this person 
does not want to receive that energy from you you just have to release them and let them go you know what i'm saying they look at you as the underdog let them keep that same energy the whole time nine of earth you are secure you're happy you know you got your life together like with or without this person like you are secure your business is going good you have a stable job steady income um you got a nice savings just like on your own you're good like i said this person could be could have went and took a vacation by themselves just to kind of get away from the local area because they needed a different surrounding a different scenery because being where you guys are i feel like it just reminds them of this love that's lost i feel like the virgo feels like whoever this is is lost like They're lost and trying to find their self. And you're trying to help them find what they're seeking. But if they want to seek it on their own, let them do it. Don't let them come through and touch your abundance until they're ready. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do, do not rush this. You know? And I told y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the, the lyrics to the song. This is my song that I wrote. It's called um, Bittersweet. The lyrics go... It was fun while it lasted. Love is so bittersweet. Tongue kissing passion. Hoping we could play for keeps. Time will show true colors. It's more than just love and sex in between the sheets. If you let it fly away and if it comes back, then it's meant to keep. It was fun while it lasted. Love is so bittersweet. Tongue kissing passion. Hoping you can play for keeps. Time to love. I can't even repeat my own shit. It was fun while it lasted. Love is so bittersweet. Tongue kissing passion. Hoping you can play for keeps. Ties will show true colors. More than love and sex between the sheets. Let them fly away if it comes back. Then it's meant to keep us fun while it lasted. Love is so bittersweet. Tongue kissing passion. Hoping you can play for keeps. Ties will show true colors. More than love and sex between the sheets. Let it fly away if it comes back. Then it's meant to keep us meant to keep. Thinking the treasure that I found was solely meant for me. My time is glistening, pigeons picturing, make believe these hoes hating me. Okay, I ain't got this shit all over. I ain't about to see the whole fucking song. But listen to what I said. Was meant to keep thinking this treasure that I found was solely meant for me. My diamonds glistening, pigeons picturing, make believe these hoes hating me. You know? And I, I, I'm not even about to go into the whole fucking song because then I would fuck around and sing the whole fucking song. Was meant to keep thinking the treasure that I found was solely meant for me. My diamonds glistening, these pigeons picturing make believe. They see what I got. They see what I'm about to obtain and hold on to. These pigeons, these squawking ass birds, they hating me. You know what I'm saying? Because they want what I have. They want what I'm trying to obtain. They want to be in my position. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not worth fighting over something that other people are destined to have because you don't know how far they will go to get what you got. You understand? I'm not fighting with nobody for nothing that is mine. I shouldn't have to. If these people could come and easily manipulate you and obtain you that easily, it was fun while it lasted. Love was bittersweet. Love is bittersweet sometimes. Yeah, it was tongue kissing passion. I was hoping I could play for keeps, but time will show true colors. It's more than just about love and sex between the sheets. You know what I'm saying? Time will show true colors. Okay? It ain't just about sex. People think it's just about sex all the time. You know? And if you care about somebody for real, for real, if they won't go and make mistakes in their life, let them fly away. If they come back, it was meant to keep it. They better hope that you want them. And that's basically what the, the rest of the song was about. So, let's see what this is. Forgetting who you are. So, I don't think that you, like, you are very aware of who you are. You're not forgetting who you are um, anymore. I feel like at one time, like, you were stepping, like, you were stepping the fuck out your body. Like, for real, for real. You were, you were having an out-of-body experience. You were all the way out your body being something that you're not i want to say you were acting like a chaser instead of a replacer you were acting like a chaser instead of a replacer you know what i'm saying and 
you need to get back to who you were originally. Don't change yourself in a way that you normally operate for nobody because you don't have to. You're blessed and abundant on your own. If that person wants you, they will make that shit evident and they will show you. If this person isn't showing you, continue to stay single and, 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 and do what you've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever forget who you are and step out your body and your state of awareness for no fucking body. Nobody. What is this? The Knight of Pentacles. Now, again, you don't move fast. I feel like you take your time to develop relationships, to develop business. You study. You pay attention. You are very dedicated and extremely loyal. That's why you don't rush into things. You know, and I'm trying to tell you, y'all was out y'all fucking body. Like trying to rush into this and try to do it. That's not who you naturally are. You are a person about value time and quality I'd rather take my time and build this relationship to build this business slowly so I know that it will last when you rush into things that's how you rush into bullshit and you end up making a lot of mistakes when there's not careful planning you need to take time to get to know each other you need to find out that if to do this is this bitch stable can she cook no, number one can she cook cause y'all know Virgos like they can she cook <laughs> okay what is her home environment like? Is her house clean? What, like, what are her goals? Like, like all of this stuff like that. I feel like you needed to sit down and find that out before you proceeded to move further. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got, you wouldn't feel betrayed the way that you did. Because, like this song keep playing in my head. And they, and they just said, I, I know sometimes you get so insecure, it doesn't matter anymore. You can't be taking on people's problems. Look, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. It says, my name means the shape that I am and a good, handsome shape it is too. Like, I'm trying to tell you, Virgo is letting these people know, like, listen. If I'm thick, I'm plump, and I'm round, baby, that's because I'm pleasantly paid. And I slay, honey. I am good. Do you understand? If you see my big rotust belly, that's because I eat well. I smell good and I taste even better. Don't play with me, sweetness. Like, I really do like you, but I like myself a little bit more, you know? So if I need to end things right here, I will, I will leave you where you stand. I will not. I will go back to the Ace of Diamonds. Like, I, I don't have to invest my time in you. And you're going to sit here making me look silly like you don't know who the fuck I am. Like you're not about to put respect on my name. Okay? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But Humpty Dumpty put himself back together and set his ass back up on his, on his throne. So what you saying? Like respect a king when you see one. Like please put respect on my name. Like again... I'm trying to add you to the equation. I'm trying to pull you up here so that you can sit with me. But trust and believe, I'm good all by myself, baby. I'm good all by myself. And number one, I don't want people around me because of my wealth and what I got. I don't want people around me for the wrong reasons. If you're not attracted to me, if you really don't want to be with me, then I'm cool on it. I will leave you right where you stand and I will be blessed and to still heavily favored regardless. I don't know if this is someone that you feel might not necessarily be attracted to you or something. But honey, they call me Robin Thick because my pockets is thick and so is everything else. Okay? Right along with my belly. Don't get me fucked up. Okay? Please. Say my name with respect. Robin Thick. Say it nicely. Thick. Th th thick baby pockets thick dick thick everything thick 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 get out of here i'm so sorry about it but like sometimes you gotta be a little cocky with it you understand because people be thinking i don't know what you think this is <laughs> i don't know what you think this is like i'm trying to tell you it's like the underdog because i feel like they think what well, fat boys can't dance fat boys can't get down fat boys not sexy fat boys can't get money no, thick niggas is in. Like, I don't know. Thick niggas is the trend. Okay? The hell's wrong with you? You tripping right now. What is this? The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse again. Like, this is a... 
a divorce. This is over. Like, I feel like you are getting rid of whatever aspects you had in your mind about trying to pursue this and push this forward. Um, I feel like you've done all that you could do and you're not going to do anything more. You rest easy at, at night knowing that you don't have nobody using you and manipulating you. I feel like you came out, you got out of your body, you got out of your comfort zone, trying to pull this together. Because I feel you're, I feel like you're dealing with a damaged individual, and you wanted to help that person, but if they don't want to help themselves, I'm gonna help myself the fuck away from you. Period. Boom. Period. So let's see what is this? The Nine of Cups in the reverse. Again, I don't feel like this is something that. This again. I don't feel this is something that the Virgo wanted to do, but with the nine of, what is this, the nine of cups in the reverse? And what is this? The two of pentacles? I feel like the person that you were dealing with didn't have a sense of value. It wasn't a wish granted here. You feel like whoever the person was that you were pursuing was a little bit too full of their self, could possibly have drinking problems. Or just a narcissistic disposition. They only think about their self. And I really want to say that there might have been someone that's around you. That was just using you for your material. Or was trying to use you for your material. I don't feel like you're happy about it. And with this two of pentacles in reverse. You're not. You feel off balanced. And you're releasing this shit. I'd rather be by my goddamn self. I don't want nobody around me that's trying to use and manipulate me. You can go on. What is this? The t Listen, you're nothing but a deck of cards. You're fucking nothing. Not gonna have no arguments, no dispute with you. You better not put your fucking hands on me, bitch. I'm letting you know right now. And I will smack the shit out of you. I'm telling you right now, do not put your hands on me. <laughs> I'm, so, so, I'm so sorry. Listen, the Madre of Earth. This is what came out in the... Uh, this is what... This came out in... um. Did this come out in y'all's reading? This made it came out in someone else's reading. But again, I feel like you don't want anyone that has any dysfunction or confusion around them. You guys can agree to disagree. You want someone that's on your level. You want someone that's just like you. The queen of pentacles. Madre of earth. You want someone that could cook, clean, that's a family woman. You want someone that's not always out in the street doing this and that. Looking to be fulfilled by every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Suzanne, Brittany, and Patrice. Like, you, you, no. Mm -mm. You want someone with a sense of quality that wants home, that wants to be home, that wants to protect their family values. I don't know, because that song, this is, I don't know if you... Met someone at the dance or something like that. And you were the least likely one that this person thought that they would talk to to be with. And be with. Because again, I, I don't know why I'm feeling like. Someone feels like they weren't the most attractive one in the club that night. But regardless, I feel like whoever it is, it's like they sound and stable. They don't. They're not ugly. I just feel like they might just. They, I feel like whoever this is is short and just got a little, just a little husky. I feel like they're short and husky. What does this say? Uncertainty. Choose who you will become. This is the uncertainty card in the reverse. So I feel like you're, you're certain. You're certain where, where you want to go and what you're trying to attract. I feel like this thing moved too fast. You quickly realize whoever this was doesn't have a sense of value. I want to say they make you feel, they want, they try to make you feel bad about your appearance. Like you're not that attractive or you're not their type. Good, I ain't got to be your type, bitch. Like, I, I don't care. I don't care. And the same, and the energy that you got, please keep that energy with you the whole fucking time. Like, please keep that energy because you saying I'm fucked but bitch you insecure and you got a whole lot of shit like you're damaged goods and you can tell by the people that you run around and chase and I'm about to stop devaluing myself chasing after you because like I'm very certain who I am I'm very certain on the type of woman that I'm trying to attract and I need someone that's like me I definitely don't need nobody that is rubbing your damage off on me I still feel like 
Virgo feels bad for this person. The chariot in the reverse. Like this person could have transportation issues. Like they don't have they don't have a vehicle to move forward in regards to their emotions and just everything in their life. Like this person may be lacking um a vehicular structure. It's like in order for them to move forward in their life, there has to be some type of emotional balance. There has to be um, a physical balance. There has to be a mental balance. There has to be um, a maturity balance and all of this stuff. It's something about this person where they are easily susceptible to arguments and disagreements. Because I don't feel like this person knows what they want. I don't feel like whoever this person is that you're dealing with knows who they are. I feel like they're just trying to attract and attach themselves to successful people so that they can use their claim to fame. And I'm keeping that shit 100. Like, this is someone... This is what you really need, Virgo. A queen of pentacles. Someone that wants to be a family woman. Someone that loves being a mother. Loves cooking. Loves, you know, the whole domestic thing. I feel like whoever you were dating or something. I don't know if you met this person in a nightclub or something. And to a wand, you're definitely searching for something better in the future. Like, you're definitely moving on. And you know that the grass is greener on the other side. I just feel like you just had to actually get the looking. And again, like I said, I feel like you went on a vacation. To kind of get your mind together. And just like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, what the hell... What's I chasing? I'm a chaser. I'm not a chaser. I'm a replacer. So I don't even know why the hell I was even doing all of that. The sun, like illumination, you know, happiness, you know, warmth. Again, I feel like you're in a cold state and you might took a vacation to somewhere where it's warm, tropical, nice breeze. Like you spending a little bit of money on yourself and enjoying yourself right now because this is some bullshit you know what i'm saying like this is some bullshit i feel like you have a lot of people around you virgo i always get like a deep sense like you have there's a male virgo that he has a lot of supported women around him you know what i'm saying and that constantly protecting him and reassuring him um whoever this male energy is i feel like they still get a lot of mothering and pampering done from the women in their life. This is a very successful man. But at the same time, I feel like this man is very fragile. You know, like they may give their heart too quickly. You know, I feel like they may give their heart too quickly. I don't know what other placements is in this person's... Um, I don't know what other placements is in this 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 person's chart, but this prince needs a lot of love and needs a lot of guidance because, again, like with this the moon in the reverse, I think that the women around this man feels like this boy quickly gets taken advantage of. Like they don't know how to use their intuition with manipulative people to see through like they can't see through the other people's manipulation and shit like that but this moon in the, in, in the reverse like the mother and the auntie and like the sister and like uh, whoever these women are be having to sit down and expose to them like the tricks of the trades and what women really be trying to do and like this woman doesn't really care for you like just you know like i really do feel like these women expose um secrets you know like really tell them like how women really are and i really think it's kind of hurtful because it's like let me turn this light on because it's getting darker and darker as i keep reading and i don't know if y'all can see 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 but i feel like this person as smart as they are like they're just not getting aware about how you come off like you come off successful you come off you dress good you know how virgos are virgos they are very well kept very well groomed and manicured men and women they really like fashion they don't mind spending a little bit of money on themselves like they they, they keep themselves up like i told you 
Look at this Ten of Pentacles. Does it look like this person doesn't have a nice environment, something comfortable? Yes. You know what I'm saying? But this woman doesn't deserve to be around his Ten of Diamonds, his Ten of Pentacles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't deserve to be in this home around my success to be eating off my plate like that. Like, you're going to have to get your success and your foundation on your own and come back to me. Because this is some bullshit. Look, prosperity begins. Is this the number one? Number one. So, again, I feel like you guys maybe just had to look at the apples that was growing on the tree. You know? Is the tree fruitful or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, is this person's tree fruitful or not? This person that you were dealing with, tree was not fruitful. They weren't trying to build. Like... They were really, I feel, I really do feel like this is someone that was like off-putting because they were like making you feel like you weren't good enough, like not as attractive to whoever else, like y'all weren't compatible or something. Like what is this? Moving on. Move on. And, I, and I, that shit just make me feel so bad. Because it's like, tap on my window, knock on my door. I want to make it feel beautiful. Like, that is so sad. Because it's like, this person really, really cared for this girl. And seeing her insecurity, seeing all of the, the fucked up things going on with this girl. And was willing to put the time and effort with this person. But this person... Listen, it doesn't matter anymore. The awareness in the reverse. So it's like... I don't feel like this person really seen... What was going to come out to play. I feel like the women did. And that's why the women protect this person. Because they know to some aspect this person isn't fully aware. This is like the magician card. And this is someone that... It's very powerful, but it's still learning how to use their power. Like, this person is still learning secrets of the trade and intuition. Like I told you, I feel like this is the prince. Like, this is still the apprentice. The destiny. These women want you to focus on your destiny. Want you to focus on your upbringing, your worth. What you're trying to build. What do you have? You got movement, choice, and decisions. They want you to remain balanced. They do not want you to be around people that are just going to throw you off your marker. You know, they don't want you around people that's going to throw you off your marker, period. Like, I feel like Virgo already got pulled away. I feel like Virgo was learning how to date again. Is Virgo learning how to date again? And I feel like. You're in a singular motion right now. You are single. There are many fruits that are growing on your tree. You are in the process of moving on from something in the past. But I feel like you're not aware of what society is like right now. Dating and what type of women are out here or something like that. Like you're just not aware. But however you are focused on your destiny. And like I said, your friends and family just want you to be. To continue to move. And make wiser choices and decisions and keep yourself balanced and remember your resources and your assets and, and know that people will come around you and, and act like they want to lay hands with you and that and, and they want to fellowship and shit because they see what the, the abundance and the fruits growing on your trees. People don't come around people that don't have no fruits to harvest. You know what I'm saying? But you got to make sure that they got their own fruits. the truth clarity it's been spoken so I, I definitely feel like um and then that truth that that number 20 that's like the judgment card like that's the judgment card so I definitely feel that you came to your own point where you had to judge this situation in this person. I, I feel like it wasn't what you wanted it to be. But it is what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't stay in this constant state of non-awareness because you like somebody. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? I like this person, but I like myself. I have to focus on my destiny and the prosperity and the balance and stuff that I'm trying to have in my life. So I got to continue to move on just like my family said. You know? Like, don't ever forget who you are. Listen, this is the Eight of Arrows. The Eight of Arrows. This is like, I believe this is like the Eight of, um, the Eight of Swords. This is like some type of mental blockage or something. Like, again, like I said, it's a struggle. And I don't think that this is the Virgo, unless there's a Virgo woman that is in this energy. I don't feel like this is, this is not the, per this is not the person I'm reading for. I feel like the person that you were dealing with is dealing with some type of mental struggle, um, could be dealing with legal issues um i feel like this person may be trapped in some shit that you may not be aware of they have their own struggles that they need to figure their way out of you understand um that's why this person may have been so frigid and ice cold because Whoever this person was that you were dealing with, Virgo, they feel like they're under attack by the system. They feel like they're under attack by the system and they're trying to find their way out. Give me some guidance right here on this Eight of Arrows. What's going on with the struggle with this person? The Eight of Bows. Again, this person... That's like a lot of communication, like camaraderie, um, a social event, a social gathering. Like, I feel like this person likes like a, a, a lot going on, a lot of fast action, a lot of... I feel like this person is partying in spite of whatever the struggles that is going on around this person. I really do feel like you met this person like in a club or a dance hall or something like that. I don't know if y'all are Jamaican, like a dance hall. Because I don't know why I said a dance hall. Dance hall, that's like Jamaican music. Uh, I, I don't know if I, like you guys met in a club. Partying. Like a party atmosphere or something. I feel like whoever this woman is, she's partying to like overlook or overshadow what she has to deal with at home when she's out in the party lifestyle she's having fun but when she goes back home like she's trapped in some type of misery misery that she's in, in some type of confines that she's trying to figure her way out of but just cannot figure out the remedy she cannot break free from this. You know what I'm saying? Um, the number eight represents authority, prosperity, abundance, ambition, manifestation, giving and receiving. So with this being said, with these two eights right here, like this, whoever this person is, needs to be more mature and be more responsible for the outcome of what they're putting out into the universe. Like at the end of the day, you can't be setting your priorities to the side and you just out there partying and having a good motherfucking time. But then when you come back home, you wonder why you the struggle because you're not taking charge of what's going on in your life and that's what i feel like these ladies are trying to tell you like whoever this girl is trapped in misery do you understand it's trapped in misery and like i said the song this is it was called dance dance you know like this person is trying to come up off of the underdog the eight of the eight of bows, like it's like someone could be this person could be even talking about you, gossiping about you. Yeah, this person got money. I met this person at the club. Hopefully, this person's gonna help me figure out how to get up out of my struggle. Blah blah blah. This this and that. I feel like the ladies were picking up on that energy, and that's why the ladies is like, I'm not about to argue with you about this girl. This bitch ain't nothing but a deck of cards. Like we gonna have to agree to disagree, but this bitch ain't nothing, and I don't want you dating her. Like she was, she's just as bad as the last damn girl. What is it? The Queen of Stones in reverse again. They do not feel like this woman is meant to be like a mother figure. Like this is not the Queen of Pentacles that you want. Like I feel like this woman is catty. This woman is aggressive. They feel like this woman is controlling. Why well, I feel like this woman is like the same crazy ass 
bitch that y'all were dealing with before, Virgo man. Because the bear in Norman is someone that's aggressive, someone that's controlling, someone that is, like, they feel like they're the authoritative figure and you're going to listen to what they say. But they ain't doing shit to really make you, um, they ain't doing nothing to earn that respect. Whole bunch of bark and no backup. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want to get smacked up. Because you know I will call my... You know how I call my sister to come beat your ass. Y'all already know my sister be TTG. She trying to go. <laughs> you better ask the last bitch. that Y'all better ask the bitch from last year. If y'all don't know nothing about Virgo sisters and the auntie and the cousin, please go back and watch a couple of the videos from last year. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, whoever this Virgo man family is, be ready to beat a bitch ass about their little fucking brother. Y'all, I'm not even fucking playing. Because they know that this person... Is, is is sweet. You know what I'm saying? In DC, we be like, oh, that nigga's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, he real gullible. He naive. Like, you could pull a little con or bust a move on him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga's sweet for it. He gonna come and pick you up, gonna spend money on you, buy you clothes, give you gifts and all that shit. You really ain't gotta put too much out. Like, if anything, you might gotta fuck him one or two, three times, and then you could curve him, you know, when you tired of dealing with him for real, for real. Like, this is... Okay, so... They, you sweet for it. Like I said, fat nigga, you know what I'm saying, with long money, not really that attractive, but he's sweet for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you try to appear like you somewhat attracted to him, he's going to give you what you want. Like, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. What is this? The blasted oak in the reverse. So this is a tower moment. So again, the, it's like your family members are trying to tell you, like, Please avoid this situation with this person. Stop trying to stop trying to fix this woman. What is this? The seven of bows in the reverse clearance. Like, stop trying to compete and argue and deal with all of this stuff. Cause I feel like you frustrating yourself trying to make this person believe that you're worthy to be in their life that you can help fix them that you know it's just because mm -mm. i feel like this person be talking about you in a negative way and that's why like your family wants you to avoid with this tower in the reverse and the seven of wands in the reverse like stop arguing with this woman stop allowing this woman to frustrate you like put put your weapons down like do not compete with this woman do not compete for this woman. I feel like this woman is nothing but trouble. I, I want to say she's still out in the she's still out in the streets receiving messages and communicating with other people. Like they do not feel like this woman is wife material. They really want you to avoid a disaster with this. The clearance, clearance. Clear this bitch the fuck up out. Like, why why you keep trying to hold on and you not trying to protect yourself? Like, that's how your family feels. It's like, even when we try to tell you, listen, we try to tell you the truth. I feel like the Virgo is still in, like, some sort of denial about this woman. What is this? Balance in the reverse. So, this is temperance. So, again, it's like, Virgo, stop. Trying to hold on to whatever is just in front of you. Have balance. Have patience. Have faith. Like God is going to send you the correct person for you. Um, with this here, this this is giving me like that hospital health sign. Y'all know how they be having the two snakes wrapped around a little thing. I want to say like this isn't healthy for you. You know what I'm saying? Like think about your health. Think about how you keep trying to hold on to people that don't have any sense of value or respect for you how it affects you in the long run do you understand what i'm saying continue to hold on to faith and believe that god got you what is this your ancestors listen your ancestors are watching over you not only that but god is watching continue to move in faith you know what i'm saying and listen to what your family is telling you your, your family is not going to lead you in the wrong direction they want you to stay grounded to spiritually who you are and how they raised you and the values that your family taught you you know what i'm saying like these people that you're dealing with i don't feel like they have sense of value and that's why listen the shaman i feel I like i i don't know if this is um 
a great grandfather. I feel like this is like somebody that is like older than you, that's watching over you, that's protecting you. That I feel like is God and the women. That's God and the women. I, I feel like there is like a spiritual elder. I feel like there's someone that's passed on or something that talks to your mother or talks to your sister. Or like literally, like they be getting like a little ink seems like check on your brother. And then when they call you, then it's like you be running down all of this tea about what's going on and these women and blah, blah, blah. And like, they be like, that's why I got that inkling to call my brother because it, this motherfucker always got shit going on. I, I keep be having to come over there and smack a bitch behind him. Like, you know, it's just like, do you feel what I'm saying? It's like, I really feel that because with this, this is like the Hierophant. I really want to say it's your ancestors are really trying to teach you because the Hierophant is like someone taking you under their wing and trying to teach you spiritual and earthly elemental properties that can go with you day by day a standard of living a standard of belief faith with that shaman teaching you your gifts your powers how to respect them and how to respect yourself with those gifts and those powers comes responsibilities you cannot allow people to know how powerful you are and how gifted you are and you not have discernment around the people around you because that's just like if you was to think about it like say the x-men right imagine there's mere mortal humans right that know that they're x-men out there that have all of these wonderful gifts and powers and stuff say if you had someone with the gift and the power to tap into someone's brain and make them think what you wanted them to think. So if this is some girl coming around you and she knows that you have this power and ability, she may not even like you, but she may want to fake like she likes you because if she could get you to believe in her and to trust in her, she can take advantage of your gifts because once she gets you to love her, she can get you to do whatever she wants you to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you wouldn't be none the wiser because they feel like you sweet for it. Like you naive, you green, like you can't even see them coming. Because they're very masterful in making you believe that they want to be by your side. That they deserve to be by your side. And I don't think that you at this stage have mastered discernment and realizing that everyone that's around you does not necessarily mean good for you stop trying to change and heal these people and do these things because they wouldn't do it for you you know what I'm saying and I'm serious until Virgo until this Virgo man really starts to assert himself in a way where the women in his life feel more comfortable they're going to continue they're going to continue to hoover around you and to be in your business until you can make better decision choices about the people that you bring into your life. Bottom line, because they're not going to let nobody fuck with you. They're not going to let nobody manipulate you, live off of you, and take advantage of you. Point blank, period. You know? And again, people always sleep on underdogs. They, people, ain't no one want to dance with you, ain't no one, want to hang with you, ain't no one, want to be around you in the beginning, but now that destiny and fate is, is hitting your pockets and your life and your lifestyle, people can see that you're blessed and abundant by your looks and your upkeep and everything, not everybody want to hang with the underdog, no bitch, because you ain't want to party with me before. Don't sleep on the underdog, and again, don't let nobody take advantage of your blessings period. So Virgo, this has been your reading. I hope that this message reached you and teached you well because it took me about four times to record this video. This is your reading. I love you. Love yourself. Peace.